What what is what are the effects of these direct energy? They have direct energy machines or so. What 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 are the effects of them? Well, it's like uh, implants that uh, they can stimulate uh, from a distance. Uh, some of it we think is coming from a drone. Okay, because we have some evidence that would imply that's ac that's occurring, and mm -hmm. we will we'll produce that in, a, in in an injunction when we send it to the court. Uh, but uh, it seems that uh, they can do that. They can also um, some of the other things are direct energy weapons that burn people, like in like you know has been. I mean, this is long, This is not new technology. This goes back to the 70s and 80s when the Russians did it with our embassy in Moscow. It, it was used, I think, in the Cuban embassy at all. You know, so it's nothing new. I mean, this is simply the older technology that they're they're working on much more sophisticated stuff now. And and it's uh it's like even using uh, brain computer interfaces and how that can happen and how you can reverse that to have the the computer feed the brain as opposed to the brain feed the computer. So you know, those kinds of things are are being developed now too. And there, are, I think there's over a hundred patents in terms of. Uh, Different energy type weapons and uh, and uh, chip type technology, things of that nature. So I mean, this is this is a, a this has not been really investigated by anybody to any great de degree or extent at all, and it should be because you cannot trust these people. That down through we've got the, we've got the historical record of what governments have done with the technologies as they were developing them. They were using them on people unwittingly. You know, people didn't know it was happening. You know. And and they were testing them, um, just just in the in the public domain. What can you tell us about what you know about this technology, uh, especially the level of nanotech and uh, again mind control, this sort of thing? Uh, I think in that field there uh, there are at least publicly available there are over a hundred patents involved. Now that doesn't talk about some of the secret patents that, that governments develop things behind closed door for the military or whatever. They can issue patents and keep them secret and not expose them to the public. So we don't know how much of there is there. Uh, but uh, the, the idea is they've been working a long time on brain, uh, computer brain interface and how you can read and interpret the, uh, the electromagnetic signals from the brain and how you can basically um, use that uh, to interpret using software, interpret what people are thinking or what they want done. Well, but once you do that, you see the reverse is also possible. And that means you could have the computer talk to the brain. So once you get these chips, it's a two way street, right? You can go one way or the other. This is now, and just think of being, you know, very soon you're gonna have your toaster and refrigerator on the internet. So it's going to be the Internet of Things. Well, you and all these all these people that are chipped then just become another thing on the Internet. And so they're all set up to be monitored, tracked, and everything else through that, as well as their phones and everything else. That using the, the it's a program called Treasure Map is the NSA program to do all this tracking. And, and all it will be is another another dimension to add to the tracking. But at the same time, it adds an interface where you can go both ways. So you can centrally, you can think of that central hive mind generating a message to everybody. This is the this is the really possible in the future now. This is really dangerous stuff. You can set up people for anything you want to do if you want to wipe them out or whatever. You know, it, it's all possible.